I want to take my clothes off. Oh, all right. We're going back to summer school all this week on live. And uh, right That's now, for you. I, yeah, I was looking forward to going to summer school this year. <laughs> and I'm busy is about to teach me one of her many hidden talents. Yes. What is that? OK, well, so this is a little fun craft that I like to do with my girls. It's good for baby showers. If you are hosting a baby shower, Michael, all the time. <laughs> <laughs> got one tonight. Su there are some little succulentariums I made for a baby oh, shower. Wow. Yeah, um, as a little gift. And the nice thing about succulents as opposed to cut flowers is that they don't die. You can take them with you and they're very uh, sturdy. They're sturdy and they're good um, in a drought, which is what we have in California where I live because um, they require very little water. So, All right. well, let's do this. Let's get to it. I'm and how did you how to get into this, by the way? I don't know. It was just like a craft that I saw online, like, you know, like how you find most things. Okay. I, I had seen the little terrariums in in uh, in magazines, and I thought, well, I can do that. So the first thing that you want to do is these is some pebbles, and you want some like you can use the scoop. You want some larger pebbles, and you need to get them. You can get a jar. I like to recycle jars, so I use like mason jars, or um, you can go to Home Goods and get some jars. And you're going to do layers. So the first layer are the rocks. Okay, okay. and once you get the rocks in. You need to get activated charcoal, which activate. you can activate. Activate the charcoal, <laughs> which you can get um, from like you know an Ace Hardware store or something like that. And the heart and the what important is activated charcoal do. I don't. Well, oh, I know. Um, Last time I used activator it was in my hair. Okay, well, <laughs> the the charcoal is important. I had a Jerry curl, everybody. <laughs> the, the charcoal is important because um, it helps keep your terrarium fresh and mold free. Oh, that's important. Um, it's an important step. It's a step I've forgotten from time to time. Uh oh, Michael, Michael. Keep the charcoal in the terrarium. I'm trying, I'm sorry. Um, and then you want to use your soil. Mm -hmm. And uh, I like to use a soil that's specifically for succulents and cactuses. Did you know cactuses are succulents? No idea. I knew that. Um, <laughs> Learn something I just, new in summer school. Because I just said it. Um, so you want to fill, fill your little terrarium. And here like we go. Is there a Make certain it a little even. Okay. You can use as much as you want. Okay. okay. These are going to be a little bit smaller, but that's okay. And then you choose whichever succulents you would like to use. Like this little guy is super cute, and why don't we use him? And so you want to um, just take them out. If you need to spray with some water to loosen the soil a bit, that helps. Oh, Michael. <laughs> oh, Michael. All right. In summer school, that means I'm learning. <laughs> You're learning. So you just plant, you just, you know, plant your little guys in there. If you're going to use cactuses, be careful. Sometimes if you have teeny tiny little plants or if you're doing it in a jar like this, chopsticks are a good hint because you can lift the little plant with chopsticks and place them in. Oh, um, yeah, so you want to. Chopsticks again. Yesterday I cooked egg with chopsticks. I know, I saw. <laughs> That's such a cool thing to do. Um, and they, the good news is they don't need that much light, um, and they don't need that much. They don't require that much water. You want to feel the soil every week or so, and if the soil feels dry, um, you want to give them a little tiny bit of water. But like I do ice cubes, so uh -huh. I just throw like three ice cubes into my terrarium and let them melt, and that's like the right amount of water. I'll tell you right now, okay? We're gonna do. Right. What, now we got this. Okay, so we're good. You can and put so in however many you feel, right? However many you feel, and then when you're done, you can use little pebbles, um, aquarium pebbles, or colorful rocks. <laughs> oh, Michael's going for it. I'm I see. going big. Um, you feel you go big or you go home. You know what? We're gonna right. finish this up. We're gonna come back, and Big is gonna show us a fun twist on, on doing this with your kids. Yeah. So. Stay right there. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. Um, and, and busy. We're finishing is, our terrarium. Yeah, we're finishing our terrarium. Our succulent. I love our the word succulent. Succulent terrarium. So Michael's yours looks some color. great. He Thank did you. this all by himself. And something fun that I like to do with my kids is you can get aquarium pebbles, multicolored aquarium pebbles. Oh. And then I like to buy little plastic animals That's cool. at the store, um, like dinosaurs, or if you're doing a baby shower, like little woodland creatures. And then you can just like place your little guys inside the terrarium. And kids like love doing this. Here's a finished dinosaur one that we did. Look at this oh, little that's guy. Cool. You know. For like a little, you could even do like a dinosaur themed birthday party, you know, and have these out for your little little people. Um, you know so you what? can make them classy or not classy. You know what I could tell? You're a heck of a mom. Oh, You're my a heck God. Of a mom. That's Thank awesome. you. Very sweet. You know what? I got a. Um, I got to ask you a serious question. How would you grade my performance, teacher? Honestly, I think this is dressing room worthy. Oh, I think you should keep this in your.